U.S. President Joe Biden piled pressure on Republican lawmakers Wednesday to move quickly to raise the country's $31.4 trillion debt ceiling or risk throwing the U.S. economy into a recession that would kill thousands of jobs. Because if we default on our debt, the whole world is in trouble. This is a manufactured crisis. There's no question about America's ability to pay its bills. America is the strongest economy in the world, and we should be cutting spending and lowering the deficit without a needless crisis in a responsible way. The pressure comes as talks between the White House and congressional Republicans kicked off ahead of a possible June 1st default on American debt. The Democratic president said that Republicans' opening proposal for spending cuts was far too steep. It makes huge cuts in important programs for millions of working and middle-class Americans, programs they count on. According to estimates, the Republican bill would put 21 million people at risk of losing Medicaid, including 2.3 million people here in New York State and 78,000 people right here in Westchester County. It's devastating. It's not right. Republicans have vowed to support raising the debt ceiling only if Biden agrees to retroactive reductions in government spending. The president wants the debt ceiling lifted without spending cuts attached, but said he wants to negotiate the next budget. But some see reasons for optimism on a deal. The Biden administration has signaled an openness to certain proposals that might raise revenues and streamline spending. One area of agreement may be the Republicans' demand to claw back some unused COVID-19 relief funds. And the White House on Wednesday joined Republicans in calling on Congress to pass legislation that would help speed up clean energy and fossil fuel projects. Biden will meet Friday with the top Republican and Democratic leaders in the U.S. House and Senate.